What is the first thing I should look for in a river to find smallmouth? Smallmouth like current. If you usually catch a bass and there's not current in my area, it's, a lot of times it's going to be a spot. But if that current's coming through the river, often there's going to be water that's not moving with the current. It's, we call that slack water. And they like to hang out there and ambush bait fish that are coming through that current. They hang on that slack water where they're not fighting current. So I like to look for slack water next to current. And a lot of times in the slack water, you get the whirlpools, the eddies, yeah, yeah. Um, any, any of that kind of like weird reverse motion. Also foam. I call it the foam is the home. Yeah. Uh, anytime you see foam on the surface, they use it like, you know, they don't have eyelids. So, you know, they're just trying to get out of the sun a lot. So they'll get underneath foam and stuff. So we call it foam is the home. We toss in there and often more times than not, we, we nail a fish right out of there.